Welcome back fellow gamers. So today I have for you something that's pretty important. Uh, it's how to recognize a fake Magic the Gathering card. Now there are a varying uh, degree of qualities between fake cards um, and real cards and obviously fake cards within fake cards. Most of them are coming from China and they can be found on various websites uh, but I'm not going to link to any because I don't really want to help true malicious people find them like they're gonna find them anyways but I would rather just not drive traffic to these places um, I acquired a fake card now I don't know if you guys can tell which is which uh, I'll tell you in just a second but the reason why I acquired a fake card was because I was starting to buy dual lands and other expensive reserve list cards and I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was looking for because before that I was really like shooting in the dark like everything to me like I was always worried about acquiring like spending a few hundred dollars on acquiring a fake card so I went ahead and I asked uh, I found somebody who was selling fake cards and asked them to you know send me one um, under the guys that I was gonna buy a bunch and, and they sent me one as a like see if I would like it and sure enough uh, it's helped me tremendously since then uh, I've, I've, I've been able to spot fakes just by the touch from from just holding them because there is a different feel. Now, I will show you this card. Whoop. I will show you this card and then this one right here. Excuse my disgusting hands. So I think it's pretty evident uh, just because of the neck there that this plateau is real and this tundra is fake so two things is that one I didn't get the right edition that I wanted to there's the difference in the actual wording uh, unfortunately and this is uh, I honestly I don't remember what edition this is <laughs> but um, there's a distinct feel like this feels more glossy and when I hold a fake card now like one of my friends he he had thrown a card my way asked me to like to look at it and as soon as I had felt it I'm like this is a fake card like it was in my hand for like a split second and I felt it he's like oh well, yeah but that's I wanted you to see if there was a mistake and then sure enough like I looked at the card and there was missing it was a newer card there was missing an artist symbol at the bottom here uh, that paintbrush uh, but I I didn't even thought of looking at that the feel of itself like they have a very distinct feel um, so when you're trading for a card that's expensive and it's in a sleeve ask the person to take it out of the sleeve so you can you know look at it in more detail don't say like well I, I want to make sure you're not scamming me and this is a fake so I want to touch it <laughs> uh, just ask to like yeah to view it and like this feels like a regular magic the gathering card and I'm actually going to put it back in a, in a sleeve here because I don't like handling it I'm not that rich where I can just start handling my magic cards <laughs> willy-nilly um, but yeah so and even like like you know, let me try to get it like it's it's not a terrible terrible fake well first of all like, there's that miscut which can happen on any card but when the front is centered and the back is is miscut like yeah they don't um, you know, you get what you pay for. Like if, if somebody's buying fake Magic the Gathering cards, most of the time, and they're not paying much, there's gonna be a lot of imperfections on them. Uh, another thing to look for though is the, there should be a blue center line uh, in between the cards. That's one of their Magic or Wizards of the Coast um, methods of detecting uh, or not detecting, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> uh, preventing uh, fraud. So if you look and you can kind of see it here. I have it focused for a split second. You see it's like it's white through and through. Um, not only that, the quality, so like the color is a bit off. Now I'm not comparing the color to this one um, simply because they're different they are they're supposed to be different editions um, but even at that when you hold I have a friend who has uh, the same same 
edition and there it's a, a few shades darker now another thing that i, I recommend uh, for everybody to do is to invest in a jeweler's loop they're like a few bucks on on ebay and maybe even a buck or two bucks now i just moved so i can't i can find my jeweler's loop it's packed away somewhere um but essentially what you do is you put the jeweler's loop right to the card and you'll see the pattern um one thing to note is that the way Magic the Gathering cards are printed, they're done in different phases. And the last one to go on is the black. So what you're going to see here is when you look at one closely, it's all going to kind of blend in together uh, as if they just printed it all in one go. Whereas with Magic the Gathering cards, legit ones at least, the black is added on at the end and you can see that there's a distinct... There's a distinct uh, difference between the blacks and the rest of the rest of the card, uh, and that's also true for the set symbols. So I'm going to actually post some pictures up uh, just to give you guys a good example, and I'm going to also credit it in the comments of where I got those pictures because there's a lot of people who who have done great videos on fake cards. Um, so yeah, so it's like, do I recommend you buying? fake cards no because even if it's to prevent against other fake cards because it, it helps propagate the view by these people that it's it's worthwhile to print fake cards what you what you try to do is you try to get a fake one for free somewhere like whether you know somebody has has fake cards for the same purpose or you know you contact one ask them for, for a free trial and get a card so you can at least learn and, and do it for for purposes so that you yourself can then spread the knowledge and information so like, this is this is a card that i hand throughout my play group so that whenever they're doing trades or anything i'm like okay i'll take this card so like that you you really start to know how to rent yourself from acquiring fake cards and losing money <laughs> so with that said if you guys have any other tips or you ladies would like to comment on anything else i said or anything in addition to this i would love to hear it um, feel free to post the comments below. I will say one other thing before leaving is the bend test. Now the bend test is not the best way of doing it because if a card, especially an old one, has gone through a lot of bend tests, it will eventually, it will eventually uh, bend and, and have a crease in it. So you're risking your potentially real cards for no reason. The light test though, when you shine a bright light right through it, does do wonders when you compare it for a fake card and a, a real card you'll see a difference in the amount of light that seeps through so there you have it uh, again thank you guys and girls for watching and until then uh, good gaming <laughs>